long overdue for this right here. But yeah, I was saying earlier how all the people I love seem to uh, really be reaching out to, to me today. And, oh, don't you do it. And um, it was some love that I could use. Because I pretty much buried my head into the sand after Nip's assassination. Because I didn't want to, I didn't even want to, I didn't even want to, I just buried my head for a little while. Because I neither needed to be reminded of what I, I already know, nor did I need to be reminded that everyone is just going to believe whatever, whatever they're fed about it. So, I took the liberty to bury my head in the sand. Now, I just saw that uh, Atlanta Mayor Keisha Bottoms just invited the tranny crew. I'm not even gonna call them LGBT because they're not because grown LGBT know that this is not appropriate. So she just invited the drag queens to come and read to the children of Atlanta. I know I don't have to preface this here because y'all know better. But if anything, I'm anti-homophobe. But when I tell you that that emasculating, sex confusing bullshit is so fucking inappropriate for children, I don't care. I don't care what you think the ch child is, straight or gay or otherwise, because at that age, at the age of child, of the, the, the preschool age of children, that they call themselves uh, creating this story time for, has no business even thinking of themselves or other people in terms of sex or sexuality. They super tried it, and then in the name of trying to appeal to people, she super tried it too. Because I don't even mind you appealing to people, but bitch don't be blowing your bitch ass at me becky because mm, you know what i don't want to be right in front anyway because when them people looking at me on my way out i just want to be out do i have any candy in here one piece of candy and the other thing i have is this to me these listerine strips and like the banaca and shit like that to me that makes you smell that makes you smell like an alcoholic to me like, it always smells like you're trying to cover up alcohol. I know this man gonna try to plug me with some uh, hot chocolate. And I'm gonna accept. <laughs> Look. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It tastes like oldness. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> oldness. Oh, it tastes like old. Old lipstick. You know, some lipsticks taste nasty, like all chemically. It tastes like, but me and him might have a good conversation. Meanwhile, though, I'm gonna go in here like I ain't trying to hear nobody say nothing to me because cause I ain't trying to hear nobody say nothing to me. So, uh, a sister was ready to turn up in uh, the nail salon. See? I'm gonna go by the grocery store. I remember when I was young, all, my, all the uh, students would go to Taco Bell because it was most affordable, which leads me to believe it's most poison. There's a place, and I had sushi from there twice. The first time, it was decent. And they actually have the actual food going by on a conveyor belt. Conveyor belt make it sound industrial, but it's a really nice setup. The second time I went, I had questions. And anytime you have questions about your sushi, you don't need to go to that place to get your sushi no more. Pretty. I had purple. Oh, I can show you. Ooh, sexy can I? Mr. and his brother used to love that song. Oh, we got an after work mix popping off. This kind of time should not pass for you to get your food at a fast food place. You know, when I went, when I went to wash my hands at the nail salon, I felt like... I, I feel like I had been talked about when I got back. I, I'm not gonna stay in line this long for no bullshit. I promise you. I promise you I'm not. I feel like my boobs are low. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. Okay. It must not have been me. I did it. Fucked up a nail. Inevitable. I don't know how I did it with food this parking lot is full of men going grocery shopping and shout out to them this bonnie chick right here right there right there she seems to be very pleased with herself right now so shout out to her this one dude is out here on his phone 
and look he ain't gonna worry me he look like the kind of guy that that's too old to be hanging out in clubs but he goes anyway because a thought he can be counted on to show up on him stuff now stuff um this is gonna be like why you can't eat why you so full why you not eating oh you should be Okay, what I need to get from the grocery store. So the chick in the line at the grocery store really super mega encouraged me to get the uh, grocery store discount card, which some of them do. And the ones that cake the hardest for it, it kind of entertains me because I always play dumb, right? Because I still need to be polite in the event that they actually use the guest number for me because I know they can do that and I have to pretend I don't know so that the ones who do it for me, who let me slip through the cracks, uh, don't get busted so I don't say shit. So I had this Becky and it was also a, a, the, the, the chick, the, the girl bagging, she looked like she probably had earth, hippie earth parents. But definitely a Becky on register. So she spoke and usually I kind of just want to get my shit and keep it pushing. But I've learned to um, to be phony to potentially get respected even as a black woman in a grocery store. In the, particularly in the register line. Whenever you, whenever money's going to come out of my pocket, I figure out how to get sweet real quick. <laughs> She's like, do, I, do you have a phone number for me to put in for your whatever, whatever car? And I was like, no. And she said, do you don't have a number to put in? I was like, no. And she said, you should really get one. It's really worth it. I was like, oh. She's like, yeah, because you get like whatever off of whatever, whatever. And I was like, oh. And uh, ultimately, it is worth it financially speaking. It depends on what you're willing to pay. So I actually, actually pay a lot more than I have to for groceries because I won't, I won't join the sheeple and participate in the grocery store discount card because then they know everything. Not that they don't know anyway, but then they know everything you buy and who's it, what's it for, and that, and what have you. It's not their business. So she looks at my, uh, she's all up in my groceries, right? Which is fine. She's the cashier. She's got to look at it to scan it and shit. So she, so she grabs the hemp oil and she puts it, um, and she holds it up and she looks at me and she goes, hair? Like, is asking me, is it for my hair? And I was like, no. Well, first she asked me about the sorrel tea. I said it's tea. The hippie girl said it's hibiscus. And so I, and so Becky was like, tea? Really? Let me focus till I get home. I'm too close to home for this bullshit to go down. This motherfucker wanna play chicken. I'm too close to home to be taking a hoe out. But I'll holler. Now, uh, Becky at the register. First, I had the, uh, she got my, the sorrel. And she said, I don't know what she thought it was. And I said, it's tea. And then the bad girl, she looked like she was, she raised by hippies. You know, she got wavy hair and stuff. But she was telling her it's hibiscus. And I was like, 
actually, I was like, it's, she's like, a, it says Jamaica. I was like, it's actually Jamaican sorrel. But actually, it's in your fucking business. Remember right. That shit up. Right. But that ain't, that ain't yeah. even where it stopped. Because she, she was talking about the uh, red cap. She's like, oh, I can't know. She was trying to get me to get a car. She's like, you got a number. But I know how to be real sweet at the register because yeah. that's when you pass. And uh, she don't know that I know that if she wanted to, she could put a number in. And so I said, no. Nope. And she's like, uh, she's like, you don't have a phone number for it? I was like, no. And she's like, you should really do it. She went on this long speech about how it's so worth it. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll look into that. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. And so uh, then she grabbed my stuff. She's like, oh, I can't remember this. She got on the red caps. Oh, I can never. I'm just having a day. <coughs> so I'm just standing there like, do do do. Okay, bring my shit up, right? So the tea eased her into the hemp oil. So she, and I took the only ones that was up there. So she uh she looked at it. She was and she stood there for a minute. She stopped all her ringing up and was like, she's like, hair? <laughs> she went straight there. She could have just said, could I ask you what you use this for? She went straight to hair. I didn't, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't offended, but you know, typical. So I was like, no. And I wasn't gonna tell her shit. <laughs> and so she said, so she asked me something else. And I was like, I was and so the other girl said, Oh, she's like, oh, it's good for. She's like, I put it in for my. I use it for my oh, hair. Oh, the same girl that was down. Yeah, the okay. Earth girl. And she and the other girl. I mean, the registered Becky said, I heard that was good, good for a lot of stuff. And I was like, I was like, I, I was like, I use it on everything. I was like, uh, in my lotion. I was like, orally. I was like, it's good. Then she went back to the car thing again. Oh, she was getting on my nerves. She was just the typical, not even a book, not even a suburban one, but a trailer one. I was like, oh, bitch, just let me get out of here <laughs> in this world. Whoa. I don't know which one of these are good, so I got that. That sounds like bullshit to me. Everything is bullshit. Did they give you the Monopoly game? Yeah, they did. Okay. Those are. Uh... Anyway, you know the Monopoly game, right? Uh huh. Somebody said, I need piece 341CJ for the win. I have a rare piece. Plus other four. Again, I need game piece three four one C J for the win of a one million dollar vacation home. I have five of six contact. Then they got their email address, and somebody uh, replied to them and said, um, "Hate to crush your dreams, Ryan, but all three vacation home prizes have been claimed." Ah. Now listen, listen. I have. 341 CJ in addition to the five others and tried to claim only to learn this heartbreaking news. Wow. Best of luck with the rest of the board. That's a bullshit. Yeah, no. Nah, so wait a second. Shame, you nah. telling me I match all this shit? Now you telling me that all oh, they already been claimed? No, man. That would piss me off. Like, really? Ain't no already been claimed. They should have enough prizes for however many. Shouldn't be that many tickets. Right, match tickets, up. Tickets, right? But I ain't gonna get hyped because I don't believe that shit no way. Well, I know. But, but yeah, but your but your sister got my. Is that all the ones for her? Yeah. Okay. I told her, you know, she's beautiful. You want to give her a hug? Or? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She said, "Hey, text her back at once." I just told her I love her back and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And I told her I'm so proud of her for being a black woman in this world and following her dreams and inspiring others along the way, blah, 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 blah. And she takes me back and she's like, you, she was like, or did you forget that you're the one who, in our conversation, who, uh, who encouraged me to go back to acting and do what I love to do? Because she's doing uh, plays in New York. Oh, really? Okay. Good. Like big plays in New good. York. And so, uh, did she like theater shit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she was like, and did you forget you the one that told me to go back and whatever, whatever, whatever. And I was like, how did you encourage her to do that before she started, started doing it? And here I am. I know, I ain't theater material, I don't think so. Get any action at the grocery store? Man! Wasn't nothing but do shopping for groceries. <laughs> Nothing but I sat in the car for a few minutes before I got out first, drinking some water and whatnot. And I was like, what are all these dudes at the grocery store? And then I remember it was Friday night. They probably go and get some drink, little, little liquor, liquor. 
But the couple of them look like they're gross. The whole hoes. Or just hoes. <laughs> I hate you. I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna divorce you. You're gonna be all day with this little thing. Go ahead, you keep doing what you're doing. You got a little battery. That's why I got you that extra long cord that you don't use. Don't do that. You gonna lose your shit? Uh uh. I ain't gonna lose it. I'm gonna stop it. Because what does low power do? It's going to fuck up my stuff? Visual effects are reduced? No, I don't want more shit reduced. Cancel. Stop. Kiss on him. You didn't cut? You didn't stop? I had to kiss you first. I'm okay. showing off. How y'all do? I do. I don't really know how to do it. The guys don't do it though, right? Well, some guys. Some, some, some guys. <laughs>